Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. And today's video is all about the gourmand family. Gourmand mm. like gourmet. So delicious scents, good mm. enough to eat. They are. Scents that smell like cakes and mm. chocolate and lovely sweet things. Um, it's a trend that's kind of come about, I think since the 90s really. Yeah, so it's recent really yeah. as, a, as a fragrance family. Um, and I think, I always think of Angel by Terry Mugler. Angel is a classic. Mm. Also Jean-Paul Gaultier is the very original. vanilla, the classic, mm. yeah. yeah. Um, so we've got a few to share with you today um, that are kind of good examples of gourmand um, fragrances. So shall I start? Yeah, absolutely. I will start. Um, can't remember where I put it. Here we go. Just to say as well, while Sarah's getting the first perfume, um, with the difference between like an Oriental family, which often has a lot of vanilla, um, and a gourmand, um, which also can contain vanilla, is that the gourmand family, these are fragrances that are quite sort of patisserie or candy led. Mm. So they tend to be overtly more sweeter Sweet. than an Oriental, which contains a lot of amber mm. and is warmer. So that's kind of, you know, sometimes I think people get confused mm, between the two. Mm. Okay, what first do you have? one I'm going to show you is from Cartier. And it's from the Leder collection in Cartier, which are quite tricky to get hold of. Mm. They're only sold in the Cartier boutiques and in Harrods in the UK. Um, and this is number seven, which is Le de Fondue. Mm. Um, so Le de Fondue, they're all based on different hours. Mm. Um, and this is the forbidden hour. Not the fondue hour. Not the, <laughs> not the time when you eat cheese for fondue. <laughs> or even a chocolate fondue. That's yeah, what that's I was true. thinking, I thinking of. Cheese. Um, Le de Fondue, and it's number seven. The reason it's number seven is because of the link to the seven deadly sins. Ooh. So it's, of, which, of which chocolate must be one. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's kind of naughty but nice at the mm. same time. So I've sprayed it already. There Thank you. Go. you. Um, this oh. is amazing um, because what Mathilde Laurent, the perfumer wow. for Cartier, has done is create a chocolate fragrance, but it's not really that sweet. No, it's... But it's not that bitter either. Uh -huh. You know, like sometimes, um, we talked about um, a Van Cleef and Arpels collection extraordinaire fragrance a few months ago, um, Moonlight like Patchouli. Patchouli, and that was quite a bitter, dark chocolate. Mm. And I don't feel like this is that well, bitter. Well, this definitely has patchouli in it. Has it? As well as the um, cocoa mm. smell. Oh, um, it's, it's lovely. There's it's also... All, it's talky. There's some, there's some there's, powder in there. Yeah, I feel like there's also a little bit of animalic mm. kind of tone to it. It's like skin-like mm. tone, but it does have a lot of um, cocoa. Yeah. So it does have that feeling of, definitely a feeling of chocolate, um, but it's not like your sickly sweet um, chocolate fragrance. Mm. It's really deep. It's very um, sensual and like Do black. You know, and yeah, and I wouldn't have said that I necessarily would from the blotter. Yeah, that I would want to wear that on my skin, but actually, I'm going to re really be interested go. to see how yeah. that develops on my skin because I've not worn this before. Yeah, um, I love the bottles, and I think you know they're very elegant yes. and very sophisticated. Very classic. Um, and the fragrances they are very niche. You know, they're I not would, for everybody. Yeah, so I would it's really, good to be unusual. Um, recommend with this collection to try it because they like look um <laughs> the bottles don't really match with the smells no. like the bottles look very classic cartier um but in the collection it's kind of mathilde laurent's outlet for crazy fragrances mm. that mm. things that aren't so commercial smelling yeah. um so stuff like chocolate there's other ones um there's one that smells like gin and tonic yeah there's one that smells like horse um there's one that smells like um forest fruits you know yeah. it's they, they're crazy and I love this because it's chocolate but it's it's yeah. very the dryness I think maybe a bit patchouli comes across definitely mm, on my mm, skin mm. I'm really getting that you know normally patchouli doesn't come because it's normally in the base, base. of a fragrance mm. it doesn't come for a while but actually that dryness that sort of almost sort of powdery almost ashiness is coming straight yeah, away yeah it's that kind of dry mossy mm, feel mm, mm. very interesting gourmand fragrances are always a bit of a talking point they are um and the other thing that you'll find um with gourmands is that you keep wanting to go back it's and addictive and smell it yeah it yeah. really is so i've got another one for mm -hmm. you this is a kenzo fragrance uh -huh. now this one um talking of gourmand and, and yummy things to eat Praline is the base of this fragrance. Um, it's called Kenzo, um, Flower by Kenzo, 
elixir. And the elixir, so L apostrophe elixir, um, elixir is like a kind of potion, isn't it? Like almost mm. like a talisman, like a, a, a special recipe. Um, and this is a great fragrance for something that is gourmand and addictive, but not overly sugary. That makes sense. Still got floral notes to yes. it as well, hasn't it? It's got the rose in there, um, and it's also got some sparkle of raspberry. Mm. I'd also say if you know the original flower by Kenzo and you don't like it, don't be put off to try this. Oh, it's nothing it's quite like different. It. Yeah, it's nothing like the original. Yeah. It's really mm. nice, actually, isn't it? Yeah. So, because it gives, maybe it's that raspberry um, touch in it, but it gives mm. a kind of fruity, uplifting. Not often you will find a sort of toffee note combined with a sparkling fruity mm. note. They tend to go quite well together. Mm. So that sort of prawling, sort of caramelly note in the base blends well at the opening with the mm. um, raspberry. I can also still smell, though, the palmer violet, mm. which is in the original Flower by Kinder. Which are sweets. Sweets, yeah. So mm. it's sweet candy smell as well. Um, you see the red colour as well, this lovely dark, sort of almost uh, uh, dramatic mm. red, it's great for Christmas. Um, this also, to me, speaks of what's inside yeah. as well, because it is that richness yeah. that you're getting through mm, from that. Definitely. Love, Love this. that. Yeah. Okay, um, next up, we've got another one, which is here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's with the candy canes, which is very appropriate. Um, this is um, one of the newer, actually, Serge Luton's fragrances. Mm. It's called Baptême de Feu. Um, so Baptême de Feu means baptism of fire. Um, typical Serge name. Typical. As with most Serge fragrances, there is a story or like inspiration, um, but it's quite sinister in some ways. Mm. So first of all, you'll see, here we go. Thank you. You see the colour of the juice is like a kind of purpley um, pink mm. colour. And That's so different to the last two we just sprayed. It isn't it? It's not yeah. as candy no. at all. No. It's not as candy. Um, but it's fizzy. Yes. So if I tell you, um, what he says about the fragrance like so that he always designs the visual to go with the fragrance mm -hmm. and the visual is of a shooting target okay. so you know like if you're doing a shooting practice a sure. red target but the inspiration he says is the fun fair mm. and it's all of the smells that you get at the fun fair yeah, okay so like candy floss and um toffee apples mm. and burnt orange yeah. and um, all of those sweet things but then it's also sinister because mm. also at the fun fair you get the shooting range okay. where you have to you know hit the target so it's got that kind mm. of sweetness but there's yeah, but also the peel like a like a peel. zest it's uh, quite rind. Actually, yeah. isn't it? that kind of orangey mandarin peel yeah. type no that's definitely coming through for me and I quite like it because yeah there's those burnt ingredients mm. so I know what you mean but Clove. also, I, again, I mm. still like that sparkling. And the ginger in it as well. Mm. Ginger can be both warm and hot. sharp at, yeah. at the same time. It's, it's hot and warm, and it's sharp and, and refreshing yeah. at the same time. Yeah. You know, like if you eat ginger, it can yeah. be quite refreshing. It's a very complex it is. one. I also think when it dries down a little bit more, because we only just sprayed it, mm. the an, there's a kind of animalic um, dry down quite on the sexy. skin. Yes. Um, it's really interesting mm. as a gourmand. I mean, I think yeah. you could definitely classify it as a gourmand. I don't know what else you would classify it as, really. Um, no, well, it's not Serge spicy, doesn't, is it? No, it's not. And, and Serge Tans, he doesn't necessarily, um, like most mainstream perfumers, he doesn't um, put his fragrances into definite families that no. we would recognise. He kind of calls them their own thing, like a very poetic mm. um, families, whereas other perfumers, more mainstream, would sort of, categorize floral or green yeah. or woody or spicy or gourmand yeah. so um he would never necessarily mm. sort of conform to that industry no um speak. but if you had to choose i think we'd put it in yeah, gourmand think... but very kind of complex very complex have a try of it next time you're near yeah. some certainly some you can have that back uh, with the candy cane yeah thank you yeah um, and i will get the last one that we're going to talk about today which is called song for a queen mm. Um, great name. This is a fragrance from the brand of Dear Rose. 
There we go. This is another niche um, fragrance. It's not um, very well known, this brand. Um, it's a, a French mother and daughter. We have mentioned, I think, a couple of them yeah. before. Um, Chantal Ross and her daughter Alexandra. Um, and the, the song, you know, I mean, Alexandra, um, the, one of the co-creators, she's a musician in France mm. and um, actually quite a successful yes. one. Um, so the kind of song element, the musical element, um, ties in very nicely with her. Um, this one... I love the bottle, here. by the way. I like this the element copper. of it, the copper, yeah. the, uh, or sort of rose gold. Mm. Rose gold and black are very trendy, I think, at the moment in perfumery mm. bottles. Um, so black vanilla is the real sort mm. of key, sort of um, dark, sensual sweetness. But it's also got heliotrope, and heliotrope as a flower yeah. can smell like sweeties. I think we spoke about heliotrope we? when we looked at the new um, Alaya Blanche fragrance because that yes, also we may has have it. Because do you remember we, mm. we were talking about that kind of sweetie um, patisserie smell? Yeah, we did absolutely. And, and orange blossom in here also yes. gives a warmth and a radiance really to nice. it. Um, I mean, it's not. It, I wouldn't say we've sort of snuck this one in, mm. but it's not it's a kind classic of gourmand. Floral gourmand. It's definitely very mm. floral um, and quite uplifting. But that sort of um, candy element does come yeah. across by a sort of smooth, sweety note of the heliotrope for mm. sure. Um, and then the black vanilla gives that kind of rounded, it, almost an enveloping, mm. um, comforting sweetness yeah. at, the, at the base of the fragrance. Mm. So I actually really like yeah. this, and and I like wearing this. Um, I used to wear quite a lot. Um, the classic eau de parfum you know we talked about Jean Paul Gaultier, Gaultier. Mm. Um, that was not the eau de toilette which was launched first but the eau de parfum which is in was like in kind of the a lace, lace. Mm. Um, and I find this quite similar to that yeah that's skin. true that's um, true. So if you like that, then you might like this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there you go. Four of our um, gourmand fragrances from the brands that we work with. I hope yeah. you've enjoyed um, listening to that. Yeah, and don't be put off gourmand fragrances if you think that you don't like sweet. They can be all different varieties mm. of sweet that we've just shown. So go and give one of them a go next time mm. you're um, in a store and see how you get on with it. Let us know. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and we'll see you all again next time. See you again. Bye. Bye.